Hi again. I'd like to continue our discussion of creating um, iOS app mockups using Xcode. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, just sort of a diagram of what we're going to build. Um, you know, I mean, you're going to build your own app, but uh, for this example, um, I have an app that I'm that I kind of mocked up here in Sketch. You know, and it has uh, you know map view. A table view with a list of stuff and then a detail view and you know the idea is that maybe you can tap on one of these markers here and go to this detail view or you can tap on one of these um, table view cells and then go to the detail view right and we have a login and a sign up screen and a profile screen and in the last you know uh, videos we made the, the login screen and the sign up screen right so we have a few more of these to create. What I'd like to focus on in this video is using the table view. So what if we wanted to make this view here? Okay, so let's switch back to Xcode and these are the two views that we have already. And we want to add another view. Now normally the table view, um, you have to populate it dynamically through code. So you're going to use your code to grab data and you know create cells in the table view. Um, in, in this example, we're not really using a lot of code. So um, one thing that you can do is you can use the table view controller, right? Normally, if you build a table view, you can add the table view. I'm going to find table view here on the list of objects. And if we grab the UI table view, you can actually drag this into any view. So it can even just take up a portion of the view or it can be the whole screen. Um, but if you use this table view here, you have to populate all the cells, that's each row, with code. So you have to use code to generate the cells. Um, up above here, in the yellow area, there is a table view controller. And this is a little different. The table view, you can just add to any view. The table view controller is a whole view controller that just happens to have a table view inside it, okay? And if you're using the table view controller, you can generate the table view cells statically. In other words, you can define them at the beginning. And that actually works well if we're mocking up our app. I mean, the real app may want to create cells dynamically, right? It may want to generate them, you know, when the app runs. But for the mockup, we might want to populate the cells with, you know, some fixed data just to show, you know, how it would work, right? Without actually having to build it, right? So let's let's give that a try. I'm going to grab the table view here and drag it into um, into the storyboard. And then you can set the size of it to any size. I'm going to change the size to the iPhone 6 so it matches the rest of our mockup, right? So there's our table view. Now there's a couple um, things you need to know about the table view to, to really get the best use out of it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the, um, the outline view here on the side. So you just click on the little box here, right? And, um, and that way I can examine all the objects that are in this table view. And you can see here's my table view controller scene right down here at the bottom. And when I open up the table view controller, there's a table view inside, right? So, the, so you know, that takes up the whole space there. And when we open this up, we're going to see a table view cell. And that's this thing. It doesn't really show selected, but right now this guy is selected, and that's the cell. So this is one row in our table view, okay? And then if we open that up, you know, it says content view, right? Okay, so, so how does the table view work? Well, uh, generally, like, the table view contains cells, and it generates cells, um, you know, as needed, right? So it doesn't list all the cells for all the possible data that you could have. Instead, it just shows you s one cell for every piece of data that fits on the visible part of the screen. And so if something is off the screen, you know, it doesn't make a cell for that, okay? And that just makes it more efficient for the computer to work with, right? So in this mode right here, these cells are generated dynamically, right? But what we want to do is we want to be able to generate some cells in advance. Like we want to create static cells and, you know, put in the information in them here in Storyboard, right? So to do that, what we'll do is we'll, we'll click on the table view. So the table view has to be selected. And then if we go to the Attributes Inspector here, and um, look at the table view option. The very first one here says content, and then it says dynamic prototypes. 
okay? And so dynamic prototypes is, you know, cells that are generated in code. And if I look at the menu, the other option is static cells. And static cells are cells that we can create in storyboard. So we're going to choose static cells. And then you'll notice this thing kind of changed to a little box like that. And when I open that up, it shows me three cells. So, you know, when you just choose this, it says, okay, well, I'll just give you three cells just to start off with, right? And then this thing right here, this little blue box, it says table view section. So the thing to understand is that the table view actually can display, you know, a list of cells, but it can also arrange all the cells in sections, and you can have multiple sections in your table view. And each section can have a header and a footer, right? So, uh, you know, just for testing, I'm going to open up the iOS simulator. I'm not even going to launch the app. And I'm going to go to settings here. And when we look at settings, this is sort of a static table view, right? It's And it's in sections. So this is a, a section here, and then there's the header and footer, and then here's another section, and then here's the, the header or the footer for the next section. So the, the headers and footers just look like these gray boxes, and you can put text, you can even put buttons and other objects into the header or footer, right? But anyway, this one is in sections, so this is another section, and then here's a section down here with social media, and there's a section for developer, right? Okay? So that's how the sections look, right? Right here we have one section and it's got three cells in it, right? Okay? Here's a section with two cells, okay? Um, so what next, right? Well, each of the cells can have a style. So if we click on a cell here, right? So now I've got a table view cell selected, right? And when I look at the table view cell here in the attributes inspector, you'll see that there's a style attribute. And what we can do is we can choose one of these basic styles, okay? You can choose basic. You know, it's got a title. You can choose right detail. It's got a detail on the right side. Left detail. This kind of looks like contacts, right? You know, and then we've got uh, subtitle, okay? The other option here is called custom. And, it, and in the custom option, you can configure the cell yourself. And you can build everything in there, okay? Um, there's a few other options here, and I'll go over those later, but let's just kind of put some basic information in here. So maybe, you know, if my app is going to generate, you know, garage sales or something, what I'll do is I'll go to the subtitle cell. And what I'll do is I'll type in, you know, family garage sale. And then I'll double click on the subtitle down here, and we'll say February um, 13th. Uh, I don't know, 10 a.m. to uh, 4 p.m., right? How about that for our description? I don't know why it puts all the stuff way over here, but that's kind of an error there, right? Um, you know, and then if I want to make another cell here, I'll set this one to uh, subtitle. You know, we can type a subtitle in here. I'll say, um, you know, how about church sale, right? Uh, and then we'll say... Uh, um, February, I don't know, what did I say, 12, we'll do the same date, uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or something, right? And then maybe this last cell, we'll make it also a subtitle cell, and then we'll put in, um, <coughs> well, I don't know, how about uh, yard sale? And we'll type in the date. It'll be February 14th, Valentine's Day, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. I don't know, right? And there's our there's our cells, right? So what is this going to look like in in the um, simulator? Well, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that trick again where I make this the initial view controller. And here it's a little tough for me to grab the arrow and drag it over. So what you can do is click on the... Um, the name here and go to the um, the inspector here, right? And then if I go to the view controller area, it says is initial view controller. And if I check that box, this will become the initial view controller, right? Let's give it a test. I think that these are going to move in here. I don't know why it decided to draw them like that, but uh, let's give it a quick test. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's our 
There's our garage sale listings, right? And we can see the table view scrolls, right? So that was pretty easy to do, and you could populate this with as much data as you needed to mock up your app and kind of show how it would function, right? So what else can you do with this just for fun, right? Let's imagine we wanted to connect this cell to another view. I'm going to move the uh, this profile view over here and imagine you know you were going to tap on this cell and you wanted to go to the profile view okay so to create some navigation what you can do and we're, we're going to talk more about the navigation later um, this is just going to show you just a quick general idea how the navigation is going to work if we control drag from the cell here into the other view controller and then the little menu will pop out. What we'll, what we'll do is we'll choose one of these segues here, right? It says selection segue. And what we want to do is choose show segue, right? And the segue shows up as a little arrow here. So, you know, when I click on this, this is an object also. And you can see it's connected here and it's going to this view, okay? So if we test that, You know our, our table view will load up and then when I tap on the first cell then this view shows up now I don't have a way to get out of here yet I'm going to talk about that later but that's that's kind of how our navigation is going to work I'm going to delete this segue for now because we're going to set this up a little better you know um, but that's that's kind of what we're going to do right so let's talk a little more about the table view cells here so the first cell here like maybe we want to show if you can tap on this to go to another view what we want to do is we want to show the disclosure indicator and the disclosure indicator is a little icon that sits on the on the right side and tells us that we can do something with the cell right and if you can navigate usually it's like a little arrow so what I'll do is I'll click on the cell and then looking at the table view cell options here in the attribute inspector there is an accessory option here right it says accessory and what we want to do is we want to choose disclosure indicator and then you can see a little arrow shows up I'll add this to each of those um, cells because I think they should all have it okay like that right so what else can you do with the cells well each cell also has an image right so you can put an image and the image by default shows up on the left side and if you have the image it pushes the text over I don't have any images here but um, I actually have this one I have my picture so maybe I'll take my picture and I'll load it into the, the image here for the first cell so I'll, I'll click on that cell and then go to table view cell and you can see style is subtitle and then underneath there it says image and we can choose any image in our project so I'll choose this image here and then you can see my picture shows up in the cell hey that was pretty easy right you know and if you had other pictures I don't have any right now maybe I'll add them later but uh, you know I could add a picture to each cell right and then if I test my project you know it's gonna look like like this right so that's pretty good right so anyway so there's our there's our table view um, let's talk a little more about this table view right so that's the general options in table view and, and there's a whole bunch more in here you can set the background color for the cells um, you can set um, some other options here for the disclosure indicator and some other things right um, th these are the built-in ones and there's some options to, to customize these too um, you know there's a view option that sets the uh, the background color and the tint color right so you can play around with those um, what if you wanted to create different sections right so imagine you know we want to create sections and this will be you know maybe sections by uh, by date or something right or by by you know uh, alphabet right so it'd be like section a B and C right so to do that we need to go back to the table view so it, it's crucial when you're working with this there's actually kind of a, a hierarchy of objects and you need to understand you know which one you're at so some options are available to the table view cell and other options are not available to the cell but they're available to the table view itself so what we'll do is we'll click on the table view here so I can just click right on this right and you can see it's selected here in the outline and then up here where it says table view you know static cells underneath there it says sections and I'm gonna close let me close up this 
this one section that we have here first. It'll be a little easier to see, but you can see there's my section there, right? And let me click back on the table view. And when I'm in the table view, you can see right now I have one section. And if I click this to increase the number there, you can see now I have two sections, right? So I could say this is going to be section, and then you can set the title. Actually, it looks like you can't. Oh, there we go. If you click on it just right, you can set the title here. Like that one I can do. If you can't seem to click on this, if you click on the section here in the outline, you can type the name in here in the attribute inspector. So maybe I want to call this first section here, I want to call it, you know, like A. Right, Those, that'll be alphabetical, right? And the second section might be you know, B. Imagine your iTunes library, right? And each section can have any number of cells. So maybe this section B only has two cells in it. And you can set the number of rows here. So if you have the section selected, you can say number of rows is three. You can also add and remove cells just by, you know, clicking and deleting them. So for example, if I want to delete, you know, one of these here, and then maybe edit this one to have a different name. Um, I guess now I have two yard sales, right? But uh, but anyway, so you could change the names there, right? Um, and if you want to add more cells, you can you know click on the section and say rows, and you can you know create more rows. You can also drag a row out of the uh, the object palette down here. So this is you know, the object palette, and if I find table view cell, you can just drag one in like that, okay? So anyway, so that should give you a pretty good start on working with the table view, and then in the next video, we'll talk about, you know, setting up the project and navigating the project from one view to the next, okay?